Hello, my name is John Rose, and in this video, I'm going to take a closer look at two criteria that we must consider whenever we want to undertake a weight loss program. Now, this is really important because we don't want to waste our time, do we? Doing a program that might not even work or it's not the right type of program we want to go on. And all we have to do is consider two things. The first thing we have to consider is whether or not the weight loss program focuses on health versus weight loss. If they're focusing on weight loss, run away from it. You have to focus on health. The next criterion we want to look at is whether or not they're focusing on fat. And if they're focusing on fat, run away from it and guess what? <laughs> Virtually every program out there is focusing on fat, aren't they? Run away from those programs because those programs aren't going to get you healthy in the same way the ones that focus on the most dangerous substance in the world. I've mentioned before in my other videos, if you're new to my channel, you may not know this, but we have seven major components of weights. And we focus too much on fat. If we look at those seven components right off the bat, two-thirds of our body, approximately, is water. 50% of the remaining dry weight is protein. Then we have two storage forms of energy, fat and carbohydrates. Fat fuel tank can weigh pretty big, can it? We can store enough calories the last month's worth of energy in the form of fat. Carbohydrates is a whole different story, and I talk about that a lot on my channel. Because we have to understand this relatively small carbohydrate fuel tank that might weigh a pound and a half. So we can lose weight if we don't know what we're doing just by emptying out that carbohydrate fuel tank. And then we also have minerals. For a guy my size, I have about 4% about of my body weight as minerals. But then we have two more components of weight that we have to understand. And most people don't factor in when it comes to weight loss. And it has to do with our waste matter. We have what I term relatively current waste matter. And then there's that older waste matter that's been in there longer than it should. And it can be relatively fresh and it can be ancient. It can be decades old. And I, uh, I know what I'm talking about here, folks, because I had a 20 pound cesspool inside my pipes when I only had 5.8% body fat. Nine pounds of total fat on my body. I was an athlete exercising seven, eight hours every day, over 50 hours every week. <clears throat> was burning five to 6,000 calories, was, burning, was consuming about four to 5,000 calories. Still a lot of food, isn't it? I abused my digestive system. That's how I plugged up my pipes. So for you overeaters out there who are overweight, or you athletes who were like I was, low body fat but still had a bulge down here we have to understand that that's the most dangerous component of weight it's the most dangerous substance in the world and I know this for a fact that when you focus on getting rid of the garbage inside of our pipes that waste matter the fat disappears and that you can't have excess fat without having that excess garbage that waste matter inside of our body so when it comes to weight loss, especially for you people who are really exercising a lot, you can't seem to lose those last few pounds and you're out there every day. I see you guys doing it. I've, I've witnessed you guys for decades out there and I know you're putting in hours of exercise either on a bike or running, literally hours, and you still ha are thick in this area. You're never gonna get rid of that unless you realize fat's not the problem. Fat's just another symptom. Excess fat is just another symptom of eating the wrong foods that are going to plug up our pipes. 20 years ago, I wrote, produced, and hosted a 93-minute instructional video. I called it the Ultimate Weight Loss Program. Came up with seven main programs in there. And they're all designed on focusing on this other component of weight. And once again, every weight loss program that is telling you how to lose fat, run away from it because they don't understand what's causing disease. That's that other bathroom. That's why it's the most dangerous substance in the world. I've done quite a few videos on this subject. I'll put links down below in a pinned comment. Be sure and watch those other videos if I'm intriguing uh, you in any way. Keep in mind, 41 inch chest, 31 inch waist, 5.8% body fat back when I was 40 years old, 25 years ago. I undertake a three-month solid food vacation on juices and I had stuff coming out of me every day. Lost 20 pounds on the scale. 
because I knew how to keep my carbohydrate fill tank full. I didn't lose any lean body mass. I maintained my 41 inch chest, but the 31 inch waist shrunk to 28 inches. And I lost 20 pounds on the scale, but guess what? I documented this, I'm a scientist. As soon as I started doing a solid food vacation, within one week, I started documenting the stuff coming out of me. Now I've done this over 1300 days in the last 27 years. And I documented every bit of it except for the first week because I never thought of it. I'm a scientist. I've analyzed everything I've eaten for 33 years. And every time I take a solid food vacation, I capture this stuff to see what's in there. And guess what? Now I take a solid food vacation, I don't have any old stuff coming out of me. But man, when I did, it was amazing. And what blew my mind is how it just kept coming and kept coming and kept coming. And I actually weighed 45 pounds as it came out. And the reason is because it was all hard and dried. The stuff I'm talking about was in me for decades. Decades, man, you can see it as hard and dried. And people deny this even exists. You're, you're a fool if that's what you think. I have coached thousands of people. Look at the comment section on my YouTube channel. Just go to any of my videos and you'll see comments of people saying I'm on this day and on this day. And the vast majority of them are going to say things are still coming. Now, maybe 5% of you won't have anything, so good for you guys, right? Let's hope you're in that 5%. But I coach people all the time that have been eating the right diet. And I mean the real right diet, not, people, what they, not what people think is the right diet. I'm talking about the diet, our species-specific diet, unaltered, not cooked, not altered, eating, the, eating it the way we were, it was given to us. And they've been doing that for years, and all of a sudden they finally break down and take a solid food vacation on juices, and all of a sudden they start getting thinner in here and they're flushing their pipes out. So there's really only one program, weight loss program, that's the fastest and the safest on the, on the, on the market. It even comes with what I call bonus benefits that sound too good to be true. That I, I don't even want to tell you what they are because you're not going to believe me. You're not going to believe what happens to you when you, when you flush out that waste matter and how disease symptoms disappear, how your mental clarity improves, how your smell improves, how your vision improves, how everything about your life improves, goes up to another level. For me, I crawled out of a rut I didn't even know I was in. And this is back when I was exercising like a madman, and I didn't think I could take my life to another level. And yet, pooping at that 20 pound cesspool was the most exciting thing I've ever done. So it's real simple, folks to make sense out of a confusing subject like nutrition. Believe, got something flying in my ear over here. Where is he? Believe only your own experience, as Aristotle said. There's no fact like a fact learned from your own life. If you don't believe what I'm saying, take one week out of your life, that's all it takes. Before the light bulb goes off, and what happens with that light bulb? What it makes it go off? You're still pooping. And for you guys, you'll probably lose about 10 pounds. For you gals, about seven, if you're average. Above average, expect a little more because you can't have excess fat without having excess crap. Focus on the crap and you don't need to focus on the fat when you can wake up to that reality. Ow! You're in for a treat.